every session starts as we decide what memory we want to work on. It's dark. I'm in my bed. I wake up at four and my stomach is just tight. And then we talk about the uh, primary emotions that are present. It's just terror, like I am terrified. And then I will start the bilateral stimulation. She just gave me these little uh, things to hold in my hand. They're like rubber or plastic. It's like holding a cell phone on vibrate. You can okay. hold them in each hand or you can okay. put them under your thighs if you want to have your it hands free. Good. At first it started out a little slower and then I had her speed it up for me a little bit. Which one of these kind of makes your heart go ouch when you say it to yourself? I'm alone, That's, I'm helpless, that one. I'm alone. Good. That brings up feelings. Okay, yeah. just think of the image. Think of the, I'm alone. And where do you feel that in your body? Right here. In your gut, okay. When the client um, starts either having eye movements or holding these therotappers, it's as if everything speeds up in a sense. Emotionally, your body sensations that you're aware of can become very strong. I was bringing up this image when I was a kid. And I used to get these really awful stomach aches. We went into a certain uh, a childhood memory she had always known it was there. They come up stronger and then they resolve faster. You're doing a lot of work with your brain and most people are quite exhausted afterwards even if they're just full of um, hopeful feeling. Having that buzz somehow enhanced my ability to access things I wouldn't normally be able to access. What I do is I guide and facilitate the process by watching the client carefully for cues. Colleen guided me so beautifully through experiencing that and feeling this deep grief and feeling of helplessness. I knew there was some channel about that eight-year-old girl that had not cleared, so I asked her to go back, and that was when I thought of the um, the possibility of having her child change the memory. And then Colleen, which I thought was a stroke of absolute genius, said, let's try that little girl going in and knocking on her mom's door and asking for what she needs. And that, that to me was what like cracked it open. And then she said, it's as though I've put a ribbon around something that's been unwrapped for 40 years. I got to create a different ending for an, an old story, and in that, with that new ending, I feel like I have a lot more possibility available to me.